Hello and welcome to this Let's Write video. These are videos about computer programming. So today I'm going to show you a program that I wrote which is a memory game. I originally wrote it in DOS but it's easy to compile it for Windows using Free Basic. You use the QB setting, QB console setting in Free Basic and it'll compile in a console for Windows. Um, so we'll have a look at the code here. At the top there's some comments. Uh, first memory game, the name of the thing. Then free basic in QB mode. And my website and uh, a short description of the game with a version number which is kind of unnecessary for something so simple. But uh, I thought I'd add that anyway. There's the declaration of a single dimensional uh, array um, and the randomization has started. There's uh, assignments here. So the program then goes from this part up here down here and it, the board, so called board, is randomly filled. These are uh, ASCII character uh, numbers, I believe. Um, now, this uh, for loop which goes down here, uh, CURC is current character, and it's 65 through to 82, which is the uppercase, uh, a portion of the uppercase alphabet. Um, and uh, Z here is just used to keep track of. Uh, something. Um, it's uh, yeah. With with this thing, the reason why there's two of these is um, with a memory game. There's two pairs. There's a pair of two which are the same letter. So um, and it goes. It randomly puts pairs onto the board using this uh, this code here. So that's what that does. Now the main, I'll get to the main just after we look at a couple other subroutines but it goes down here after that to the main and here's the display board uh, routine uh, which gives the user an interface um, these are coordinate numbers because with a uh, DOS slash console program uh, they have they can't well you could program in a mouse but it would be very difficult it's easier just to get them to enter coordinates of the of the uh, thing they'd like to reveal on the memory game and you'll see what I mean about the memory game later on because uh, I'll demo the game before the the video ends. Um, but just to go through this, that it puts this this stuff on the screen here, the move count, which it keeps track of their moves. Then it goes through and uh, four scratch equals one to thirty six so it does this thirty six times it just places the letter uh, the hidden letters the asterisks is onto the board and it reveals the letters when necessary and toward the bottom of the code here there's make move um, this is the prompt they get this right here, enter x coordinate, then enter y coordinate, and if they enter minus one, it, the program ends because that's a way of exiting the program for the user. Um, and then the move is changed from uh, x and y to uh, a value the uh, one, I believe, to 36 using this formula. If we go to the 
the main program here. The, the idea of having subroutines is so that you can call them at different times to do different things. So it's sort of multi-purpose. So it goes go sub display board calls the uh, dis, disp b uh, routine. So that gives the user an interface. Um, and uh, go sub go sub make move so that allows them to input a move uh, there's a couple of things going on here but move one and move two see they overturn two different uh, cells on the grid and that's uh, and they're displayed like that um, before they can see that you know they can see it's a match or it's not a match and if it is a match then it says match and uh, or else no match and then they press a key to, to, to uh, go ahead and enter some more coordinates and um, there's this thing called match string here I called that uh, so it's a, it's a combination of all of the letters that they've uncovered so far in that order the reason why it's 19 and not 18 is because for some reason there's a blank at the beginning and I just adjusted it um, but uh, in the end it says game complete press any key to exit uh, sleep just waits for a key to be pressed and then end which uh, terminates the program so um, we'll go to tools uh, wait make compile and then uh, make done down here you can see that um, and here's the executable that we just created which will run on 32 and 64 bit versions of Windows I'll double click it um, okay don't expect me to be too good at this straight away because what happens with the game is everything's a mystery and then it, it's all downhill once you start getting a few combinations but I'll put in 0 0 and that's O 1 1 that's C okay and then they become hidden again uh, 2 0 is G uh, 3 0 is C. I think we saw C before though, didn't we? Um, 0 0 that no, was O uh, 1 1 is C and I think um, 1 1 and then 2 0 is G maybe it was the, a, a different combination I'll just my memory is not all that great which is why I need this game uh, 1 1 2 0 is G okay maybe I was wrong uh, 3 0 is C and 1 1 is C so it says match you can see that there um, and then those letters stay overturned so they can go ahead and guess different ones G and I think um, G was 2 0 ok we've got another match but I'm not going to finish this right now because that would take forever so I'll just say uh, um, I hope you enjoyed this, maybe you learned something, and thanks for watching. Bye.